Well, I'm not sure where it goes, but it goes somewhere, right? So welcome back to the Bike Pack and Dad's YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be reviewing this Ortlieb Handlebar Pack. This is the 9 litre version. But before we go any further, let me apologise for the sound. Um, my lapel mic, which I'm looking at with disgust, um, to be honest, uh, lasted one whole video. So that will be going back for a refund. So hopefully it's not too echoey and you can understand me. Uh, I'll see what I can do on the editing phase, but I'm no pro. Um, but anyway, without further ado, let's get stuck into this bag. This is the nine litre version. If you've got a drop bar bike uh, with the gears that press in, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, you're gonna need this one. You can't go for the 15 litre version because if you fill it up, or even if you half fill it up, you're not gonna be able to change gear. Uh, it's just, it's too wide. There's no room for it. If you've got a flat bar bike, then yeah, definitely get the big version if you want it. You're gonna fit it on there quite nicely. But like I said, I'll only review products I've used. Um, the 15 litre one is just a slightly larger version of this. So I imagine any review I would do for that would be very similar. Um, but yeah, let's get stuck into the basics. I love this bag. Uh, I filled it out with a sleeping bag so you can see the shape of it. Uh, we've got some reflective bits here, uh, reflective Ortlieb badge as well. Um, there's a few really nice features that um, they seem so simple when you see them all work, but not every bag has them. Um, I think when you're used to quality products like Ortlieb, you just get used to them having everything and it just working perfectly. But there's a lot of products out there that don't do this and things do come loose. And yeah, not with this. Um, you get what you pay for, right? I've said it before. Um, IP64 waterproof rating, just like the other bags. Uh, it's not going to let any dirt in and if you do the roll-top closures on both sides properly You're not going to get any water in either Which is super important for me on this bag because this is the bag that keeps my sleeping bag in my bivy bag um, Maybe a hat and gloves, you know, just lightweight soft things that I can really scrunch down. I want to maximize the volume of this bag um, Because we carry quite a lot of light stuff, don't we? Especially me like I'm fairly scrawny although I prefer the term athletic. Um, so yeah, I need the layers, especially when it comes to sleeping. So yeah, uh, base layers, sleeping bag, hat, squash it all in, um, get it on the front of the bike. Still super lightweight, um, so it's not affecting my bike handling. That's the main thing. All the heavy stuff can go in the frame pack, which if you've not already seen the review for that, uh, I did that a few days ago. So I'll put a link in the description uh, down there. So go and check it out. It's, uh, it's made of the same material, uh, it's by Ortlieb. They're all matching bags, so when it's all on the bike together, it looks very pretty. Um, but let's get stuck into some of the features because it's the features of this bag which really make it stand out. It's uh, You get what you pay for on this one, you really do. It's, uh, it's a very strong bit of equipment. You can see just by looking at it, we've got straps everywhere. We've got Velcro straps, we've got these big foam spacers, we've got clips up here, we've got clips down here. And not just clips, we've got clips that are attached to hooks that then slot through another bit on the bag. And then you turn it round and we've got a little strange looking strap here with a spacer and another clip. But we'll explain that shortly. Simply, Two roll, two, well, two roll top closures on either side, right? I'll show you what it looks like when it's all unclipped. Unclip them, roll them out. Opens both ends, beautiful, and looks fairly substantial in size, uh, which is good because one of my downsides for the frame pack was that I wanted to be able to get more rolls. This has got the room for this. Um, you only need to open one side to get your gear out. So usually one side is always rolled up. So let me quickly put this back together. The roll top closures, you can get nice and tight, fold them round on themselves and clip it into place. It's just got the normal, normal style clips here. Nothing super fancy about this, but they're strong, fairly robust, and uh, there's never too much strain going through them. So you don't need anything more, to be honest. So you'd have one side open that you can access all the time. Get it back together, clip it up. Right, we're back to where we were. Let's get stuck into these clips on the front. Um, these are brilliant. They're normal plastic clips um, with a strap. When you pull it, it gets everything tighter inside, obviously. However, this little design right here, hopefully you can see it with a little, a little folding plastic clip. When you've got it to the tightness you want, which should be relatively tight because you don't want it moving around, 
Um, you fold this back over and press it down into place. That stops the strap from moving. It stops it getting tighter. It stops it becoming loose when you're riding. Uh, it's such a simple little thing, but not everyone does it. And this is why this bag is so good. Um, it's the little things they've thought of. It's got them here. It's also got them up top here. And they have a smaller variation of it right on the top where the spaces are. This is the business area of this bag, okay? Um, it's great to be able to use all these other clips to be able to pull everything tight and have it nice and snug. But this is your attachment points right here, these two. And they are beyond easy to use. When I looked at it and saw all the spaces, I thought, do these need to come out? And then does it go back on top? Do I make like a, a handlebar sandwich with the spaces? But no, um, that was my, my brain working too much. Or not working, probably. Um, we've got three bits, right? We've got the spacers, we've got the Velcro underneath, we've got the orange straps. So let's get into it. Unclick the orange straps. Simple, right? We've got super strong Velcro, just like on the frame pack. Yeah, you can hear it, ready? Oh yeah. Beautiful, right? Let's get them done, yeah? That's us. It's as simple as that. Um, I do have a little clip, which I will put up in a little bit, uh, which shows how it attaches to the bike. But once those are undone, lift it up, Put your handlebars here, fold the Velcro straps over as tight as you can, and this is where the orange straps come into their own, okay? Could have just been Velcro. The Velcro is strong? Yes. Can I get it quite as tight though? Not really. So, orange straps over. Click them in, right? I've got them quite loose on purpose. You can see here, there's quite a bit of slack. I could even slide it off over the Velcro. But I want to get it nice and tight on my bike. I want it pulled up tight to the handlebars. When I'm steering, I don't want it rattling around. So, here come my lovely little clips again. Unclick it, nice satisfying little sound. Pull it tight, yeah. Click it back into place. Do the same on the other one, because, well, why not? You would be doing this anyway, so let's do it all together. Click it into place, a lovely satisfying click. You can see already how it's squashed down. Right, that's not sliding off anywhere now. It's nice and snug. You can see we've made this gap right here where the handlebars would be nice and tight. Uh, and obviously when it's actually got the metal bar through there, or like I say, aluminium bar, whatever bars you've got, right? Uh, safe for carbon bars as well. Um, that's one of the uh, the little upsides. So if you do have a lovely carbon gravel bike, um, you're not gonna have any issues putting this on. Yeah, super snug, right? There we go. Make it as tight as you can to your bike. Beautiful, right? We also have, uh, reflective bits. I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier uh, to go on the front. It's just a bonus, right? Uh, you're gonna you're gonna have lights on if it's dark, but if anything's driving towards you, this is the, this is how the bag's gonna sit on the bike. So it's hitting this lovely reflective patch here. I have, like I said, filled it with a sleeping bag. Um, you shouldn't be carrying anything heavy in this. You just shouldn't. Uh, if I had the 15 liter version, I'd probably be filling it up with loads of clothes. Um, why not? get all the gear in there. It would save me room in my seat pack, which we'll be re reviewing on the next video. Um, I will take a little second here to pause and I will cut to the video where I'm putting it on the bike so you can see how it all works and see what it looks like. So here we go. I wanna show you how to get this on the bike. So without further ado, uh, how do you get this lovely bag strapped onto your handlebars? Uh, we've got three different mounting points We've got the two at the top, which go here and here. And then there's this one at the back, which is basically just a spacer um, to keep the bike from rubbing on your bar and stop it folding down the way when you ride. Um, this is probably the trickiest one of all because you have to take the little foam bit off. Um, but the top two are relatively simple. So let's crack on with those first. If you get the little orange clips, first of all, easy enough to pop out. Velcro straps open again. Just like the other bags from Ortley, super strong Velcro. Wrap it up and underneath. Just get it on loosely at the start, um, just to give you a bit of shape, help you work with it. And then as soon as you've got the second one on, we're pretty much ready to go in. Like, that's as, as easy as it's going to get. Uh, and this is where the orange straps um, become a big help. Um, it's not just the Velcro, you can only pull that so tight. Uh, but get your orange straps, wrap them round, click them in. And then it's just a case of 
pull in the orange strap as tight as you want and you can see you can get them pretty snug and we're good to go it's that simple um, you'll see the size of this small bag uh, they do do a larger version as we have discussed with this being this size for the drop bars i can still change gear um, i've got plenty of room if you've got a flat bar setup by all means get the longer bag why not carry a little bit of extra stuff with you but it squashes down nice sits right in the middle um, i will try and get you a better view of how this one attaches but really like i said it's just a space that you've got the foam pad you wrap the straps around pull it tight it sits it off your frame so it sits a bit further forward um, it's really that simple so yeah keep all your light stuff in here just now i filled it up with a sleeping bag just so you can see the shape of it you can see the two roll top closures here um, you don't need to open both ends so if you do need access in the day just unclip one uh, it'll fold out uh, but yeah for the drop bars you're going to need the small version don't buy the big version because you will soon realize you can't change gear <laughs> you might not even be able to break which is obviously a bit of a downside um, so yeah there's no more to really say on that you do have some additional straps as well that help pull it tight um, but I'll show you those once we get it back on the table and we're going to pull it all nice and snug perfect so I'm going to take just a tiny pause just a little one to try and direct you to my blog I've put a lot of hard work into it it's uh, it's not all video based this is all quite new uh, but there's lots of articles in there on gear I've used including these bags including cooking equipment I've got, sleeping equipment, what kind of shoes you should be rocking for bike packing, um, loads of stuff on there. Also some family stuff, because after all, I'm the bike packing dad. Um, so yeah, I'll put um, some links down in the description. If you can go and take a look, I'd appreciate it. You can also subscribe so you get uh, lovely updates when I post a new article. Um, I will post articles that relate to these video reviews as well. Uh, and as for the YouTube side of it, you know how it goes. Comment, like, and subscribe. You know I'm going to say that later on at the end of the video as well. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate all the support, everyone who's tuning in. And uh, I'll keep trying to churn out some stuff that will uh, hopefully be relatively useful to you all. So yeah, cheers. Bye. So now you've seen how it attaches to the bike, I just want to take just a little second. I'm not going to do a, a full in-depth demonstration of this because honestly, it really doesn't need it, okay? Um, you've got one strap here at the back and a little foam spacer. Take it all off, make sure the foam spacer is the bit touching your frame, put the strap back through, pull it tight. This will sit it off your frame and stop it rubbing. It will also rotate the bag a little bit up, which will show off this lovely reflective patch. And it's just an attachment point really for the middle of your bike to stop this bag moving around. As great as these are, this is just a bonus for the middle, okay? Um, it's going to keep it super snug, pinned to the bike. You can imagine if that's snug there and these two are snug here, this isn't going anywhere. It really isn't. Even if you did decide you wanted to put heavy things in there, which again, I advise not to, um, that being that snug to your frame, pull tight with the lovely, the lovely clip straps like they've got everywhere on this bag. And these two being super tight, you're going to be golden. Okay. It's going to be nice and steady. Hopefully not affect your bike handling too much. And, uh, yeah. Like I say, I just wanted to cover this because you look at it and you think it's maybe a bit of a, a weird accessory, but it plays a really important role. So just get it tightened up. Use these lovely foam pads to stop it uh, rubbing on your frame. But now, that was my favourite bit of the whole bag. Second favourite bit? No, no, let's go. We're going all in, okay? We're going favourite. I love these. These straps are great, okay? Um, but this little thing right here on the back, okay? This is an air release valve. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it, it's beautiful, okay? If you've got your squashables in here, I'm talking sleeping bag clothes, yeah, we've covered it all. You've got it all in. You wanna save every little bit of room, make sure it's nice and snug. Maybe you need to get one more roll in just so you can get that gear shift just a little bit, a little bit easier so you're not pressing it into the bag. Open this valve, okay? You might be able to hear this, hold on. Maybe, I could hear it. That's all the air escaping because I'm pressing it out. Press all the air out, push the valve back in. Ta-da! I've saved a little bit of room. It baffles me 
why all bags don't have this. It seems so simple when you see it because it's so effective. But again, Ortlieb nailed it. You get what you pay for, okay? You need to save a little bit of room here. You want to get that one more on, on the roll top even. Say you've got slightly narrow bars. It's just catching the bag every time you change gear. It's going to get annoying, right? You could be riding miles. You could be doing multi-day trips. Squeeze the air out. Get the one more roll in. Pin it back in and you're golden. It's uh, such a simple bit of kit, but just done so well. So I guess we should get onto the important stuff. How much are we paying for this bad boy? For the nine litre version, which is this one, you're gonna pay 105 pounds, which is the same as the frame pack I reviewed. Again, if you haven't seen that review in the description, go and check it out. Um, 105 pounds, worth every single penny, okay? Simple as that. It's uh, roll top closures both sides, strong clips both sides and down the middle. You can ratchet this really tight to your frame and not damage it because of the lovely foam spaces. And when I say foam, I'm not talking sponge. I'm talking, you know, firm, but not so firm that it's going to scratch your bike. OK, uh, the air release valve. I probably pay quite a bit for the air release valve on its own, to be honest. Uh, I'm a little bit in love with that feature. Um, the 15 litre version comes in, uh, I think it's £125. So for an extra £20, if you've got a flat bar setup, go and get it. You're going to get more stuff in there and it's not going to cause you any issues because you don't have the uh, drop bar setup. Uh, you know, the drop bar setup. Um, so yeah, why not treat yourself? It's only an extra 20 quid and you get an extra six litres of volume. Super waterproof. It's going to keep all the water out as long as you get those roll top closures, right? And it's going to keep all the dirt out. Shouldn't affect your bike handling because you should fill it full of your lovely, soft, fluffy, lightweight things, okay? Um, I'll put a link down to the bag in the description from the Ortley website. You can probably shop around and get it cheaper elsewhere. Um, I don't know how that works with Ortley guarantees and things, but to be fair, I'm not sure what kind of guarantee they would give you. It's, it's super strong. Nothing should be going wrong with this. These are super strong. Um, I'm actually looking at this. There's one thing I've not shown you. There's a little, there's a little hole that they've put on the far left hand side of this, and I don't know if it's just where the the two lots of fabric meet each other, but it's ideal for emergency cable ties. So uh, make every bit of this bag work for you. Why not? Um, highly recommended. I gave the frame pack uh, a nine out of ten. This is getting a solid ten. Uh, I look at it and I think of the times I've used it. It just it does everything and it does it really well, really simply. Bag sits super snug on the bike. I can tighten it up super strong. I've got access both ends if I need it. I don't know why you would. Um, the perks have been able to close one end nice and tightly and then pretty much punch everything in. So it's super snug down the bottom. Get the second roll closure, roll it tight. As you're doing it, have the air valve open so you're squeezing all the air out. And then when you're happy with it, pop the air valve back in clip up your final roll top closure and you're golden um it's a brilliant bit of kit if you just want one bag to go on a trip with and you're only looking at carrying some clothes because say maybe you're staying in hotels b&b's hostels bothies things like this uh if you don't need a lot of kit and you're just talking a sleeping bag and some clothes and say you've got a flat bar setup get the 15 liter bag you're gonna get everything in there um it does absolutely everything for what I would say is a reasonable price, um, yeah, go and get one of these. Let me know what you think of it. All the links are down below for this bag, and I'll also put a link to the review for the frame pack. Uh, you'll have to wait for the review of my seat pack, which is sitting over there, ready and waiting. And hopefully, the next time you tune in, I'll have a lapel mic back, and uh, the sound might be a little bit less echoey. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, and uh, yeah, if you have liked it, obviously comment like subscribe i'm a tiny youtube channel i'm a guy sitting in my garage reviewing bags that i sell my bike with so uh all the help is greatly appreciated instagram's there as well don't forget the instagram but yeah cheers for tuning in and uh, i hope the review of this bag has been somewhat useful and i'll see you next time cheers